the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world, Gaia, springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new. Went mad. Now, a force of corruption, feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day, vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain. Born of man, beast, and spirit, we are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. The way to get Indran out of the region is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. So, how do we go about this, Rotko? Who does what? Ludmilla knows the location, so she will take point. She'll infiltrate the site and connect Ava to their network, giving her access to their system. Once I'm hooked up, I'll only need a few minutes. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Call. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. It's our duty to be here. She needs to learn that it's hers, too. She's just a teenager, Call. We were young once, too, remember? Take care of her while I'm out. Love you. See you soon. Endrin. One of the most destructive companies North America has to offer. Known for their violence and endless greed. If we left them to their own devices, they'd ravage this place till there was nothing left but dust. What do you think, old friend? Yeah, that makes two of us. I'm not too keen on this plan. I'm not looking forward to packing all this up tomorrow morning. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? And she's Adana's mother. I should be out there with her. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, 
You can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait. Ava did an impressive job installing all this. I'll have to think. Got everything squared away? Not a lot to square away. All I'm doing is pressing a button once Ludmilla gets me hooked up. Still got a ways to go before I can do much more than that. If I tried to breach their network, they'd be on us in a second. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're ten times better at hacking than me or Rotko with your eyes closed. Just give it time. Besides, you installed all of this on your own. Have faith in your abilities. I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey, how you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. We're not on vacation, Adi. We're here for Gaia, for the Cairn, and you're here to learn how we do things. I know, but couldn't I have learned how we do things back at Tarker's Mill? It's not like you've got me helping out with the mission or anything. Try connecting with the spirits. Feel their presence around you. The pain Endrin's causing them. That connection makes you a Garu. I'm trying. Believe me. But I just can't. Don't worry. It's always harder before your first change. And if the change never comes, if you're human, like your mother, that's fine. She may not feel the spirits, but she's the finest infiltrator we have. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. Something happens to her. I wish I could have. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. Everything will be alright, don't worry. Try to focus on the spirits. We'll be leaving this place soon. Shit. Kahal, wake up! We're gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Tell me Ludmilla's okay. She's okay. They've still got no idea she's on site. But their guard patrols have changed, and certain areas are locked down. And that includes the one Ludmilla's in. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off sight, the locked-off areas need to be manually unlocked. And Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts. Turbine room in the center of the site. You'll have to get here without being seen. 
The area you're passing through should be deserted right now, though. Door's locked. Ava? There's gotta be a terminal close by. Find it. Oh, and uh, deactivate any cameras you see while you're at it. Guards. Ludmilla, we've got a lot of company. The arrival of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should distract him for a few minutes. But if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get any mercy. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Big shot just arrived on the site. The folks job. upstairs want everything to be perfect.
I'm in the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly the passageway leading into it. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer. Keith! But Miller, just hold on. Fuck. Rodko. I heard. We're sneaking around. We fight. Now go. I'll beat you with your feet. I'm done fucking around.
No! Please, no! Listen to me! Oh, damn it! No. You need to fight the rage. Oh, let's repeat! Stop it! No! What have I done? Rafik? There's no time to mourn. We need to go. reported back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an engine rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Andron? Hey! What the... Clear dusk. We're good to go. Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I had to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. And in other news, Andrin is joining the fight against global warming. The energy company today announced that their new biofuel will be hitting the market soon. This revolutionary new formula will be unveiled alongside the opening of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I'd become a danger to my pack. 
I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rotko, of Ava, of Adi. This is the closest I've been to Tucker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gotten quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. What do your clients intend to do with them anyway? Weather storms? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking riddance. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the and guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin, another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Endrin. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. I'll create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup and the plan falls through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if you go through the ventilation docks. All right. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother.
I'm inside. Good. Try to keep a low profile, would you? Pays pretty good. I'm sure it is. They're going toe to toe with a group of activists right now. Lamb to mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down. announcement about their new biofuel they say they're going green by the end of the year the only thing green about that fuel is the label it's the same shit with new branding a marketing stunt They're not running the most attractive operation here. I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Endron, not selling timeshares. Looks probably aren't their priority.
I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be on there. You really think I'd drive all the way out to the ass end of nowhere if I didn't have a pickup? All right, all right. But I'm gonna have to search that truck. Then we'll see about that pickup. 
Knock yourself out, bud. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. Alright, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. Shouldn't be much longer. We were supposed to have delivered the ammunition one week ago. One week. Endrin doesn't like waiting. Or paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked, and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help, and rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Parker's Mill. Hey! You and I need to talk. 
Here we Dispatch, go. we got trouble. Die. Bollocks. Security, alert! <laughs> Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Nice. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. off in the boss's office, but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear.
An intruder. Area compromised. from the delivery bay either. Shit, what's going on? Something's up the line. Somebody over there. Hmm. Intruder sighted. Huh? Security guns on.
we headed? Tarker's Mill. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. It'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. And what you had done could be forgiven. No. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the Exo during the attack she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety. 
no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get there? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. My son. They killed my son. He's lost a lot of blood. I don't know if this letter must have been sent just before the attack on the cairn. She. She's gone. She bled out just before they shot it. Oh, there. This is only a few months old. Following in her mother's footsteps, Millie used to say the same thing. Your mother would have been so proud. That was two years ago now. Old notes from Ava, before she created Lambda Mankind. How many did you lose? Kahal, I'm glad you're back. And we lost a lot of good people today. We're lucky it wasn't worse. Though with half our survivors wounded, another attack would be the end of us. to see your face again. The cairn is in a bad way. Dusk, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to keep clear. You really thought I'd leave you behind like that? You should know me better than that by now. Besides, looks like you need all the help you can get. And I really don't want to lose my front row tickets to the Cajal show. Thanks, Dusk. Okay, yeah. No. Thanks sounds real weird coming out of you. Put that shit away. Well, if you really want to help. I'll go look after the injured. I rang the weather stormers and asked them to lend us a hand, too. Don't worry about me. You just do what you gotta do.
Adana was only a few days old when Ludmilla wrote this letter. It's true. Rotko did change when he became pack leader. Those bastards. Kitamona. How could they? Silver. That's what killed her. They had three snipers trained on her. Rodko must have written this when he lost his sister. The worm's influence grows even stronger. been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your care needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms. But the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Adana. A dear friend and always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then? She too is fighting for Gaia in her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me. And I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. 
soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can, but my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. Ceres, Gaia thanks you for your sacrifice. Now go. Ifen is waiting for you. Save the forest, Gahal. Drive out the worm. The forest shrinks a little more each day. Bold and heroic. That's Rodko to a T. Bards. Gotta be kidding. I hope Rodko's changed his mind. Mona, return to Ifen. The cairn is safe. Thank you, Kahal. Take care of those who remain.
went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rodgo. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. Tell me about Adana. Have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I made her into a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight, to defend herself, so that we wouldn't see a repeat of the tragedy that befell Ludmilla. You say that, but she's working undercover inside Endrin's walls. That doesn't sound like your kind of training. Donna decided that she could best aid our struggle through more covert means. It took me some time to come around, but she was right. She's a talented infiltrator, just like her mother. Rest assured, though, Donna's just as much Garo as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. Tell me about Adana. Have you trained her? Just as I promised you, I made her into a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight, to defend herself so that we wouldn't see a repeat of the tragedy that befell Ludmilla. Has she gone through her first change yet? Not yet. And despite all my training, she never showed much inclination toward the wild side of things. She preferred to spend her time with Ava, studying humans, technology, and infiltration. To walk in Ludmilla's footsteps. That's right. And though it's not my way of doing things, it certainly paid off. She has proved to be an exceptional spy. Rest assured, though, Don is just as much Garo as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, she succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing. It was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make some concessions. I can imagine. There are a lot of humans in the cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's Lambda Mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too, at first. At first? So you've changed your mind about humans? That's a surprise. A lot of things have changed in the past five years. Myself included. For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. And now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans are unafraid to put their lives on the line for their planet. What more could I ask for? So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. Then we'll need explosives. You'll be happy to know I didn't come back empty-handed. I'm aware. I met your new friend, uh, Dusk, right? He gave me the explosives you two stole. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff. 
but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. It should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal.